Hey guys, what's up? Back this time to Heroes and Generals. Uh, here with me, Kirschling, uh, the awesome, of course. Just kidding. Screw that. Anyways, what I'm going to do on Heroes and Generals is a series um, called the Heroes and Generals Experience, and what this series is going to embody is that I play um, each role except general and I'll tell you why in a second uh, in each video so I'll have a video on infantry I'll have a video on paratrooper recon tanker uh, fighter pilot all the occupations except general because general you're not actually on the field now I would actually like to play it but it is a top-down kind of situation, and a general is crazy expensive to recruit. Um, and I don't know how to play a general. <laughs> uh, you know, I would like to learn how to play a general, but it seems kind of boring, and, well, the big thing is I don't have the funds to do it. So, what I'll do is I'll first explain kind of everything to you for those of you who aren't really that familiar with Heroes and Generals, and then we'll show you the infantry combat first, because the infantry is the most basic unit. Right. So first, I'll just explain up here. I'll kind of go top to bottom-ish. So we got uh, Heroes and Generals. So Heroes is your infantry, not, well, they are your fighting units. Generals, which I'll go to if it'll load up. I'll pick United States because America. Let's join that. So, this ties into the war. Now, you can't, when you first initially join, you can't play war. Now, what war is, is all of these little dots represent a battlefield. All the little glowing ones represent a battle that is currently going on. Up here it tells you the status, so right now Russia has a five-star lead over everyone. America's in second and Germany's trailing behind. Now, generals pick these battlefields. They pick these places that will become battlefields. So the generals have their own fight while the infantry fight on a smaller scale. The generals just fight on a bigger scale, and they fight over control of a map, basically. At least that's my understanding of it. I've never played them before. So that's what war is. Now, war is a elite form of combat. There are four forms here, obviously. You have encounter, skirmish, and assault. Encounter is infantry versus infantry pretty simple, small maps. Skirmish, you got some vehicles in there. Um, no fighter pilots, no paratroopers. Uh, you do have tankers, though. Uh, and then assault, you can have anything. And war, you also have anything. It's just, in war, you're fighting for something. In assault, it's a randomly generated battle. So, before I... To, well, I had to talk about that just because it ties into what's up here. So you got your credits, basic form of money, war funds, and, of course, your gold. Now, say this was War Thunder, these would be your Silver Lions, these would be your Golden Eagles, but these do not, these are not like convertible XP in War Thunder. These are used to buy assault team or used to buy assault teams. And assault teams can only be used once you make rank 11 or higher. Now, in the United States case, that would be rank, or sorry, rank 12 or higher. Because at rank 12, you get your first command point. Uh, and that allows you to deploy assault teams in a war. And assault teams are at different cost, obviously, depending on what they are. Now... I, my highest guy is a sergeant major, rank 11, so he's just under a second lieutenant. So I haven't had experience doing anything relating to war funds yet, but you do start earning them as soon as you play. Uh, then you have your player profile. Now this is something they added very recently. Um, when you first join the game, you're gonna be a play. You're gonna be player level one. Uh, you go up 
you know, and as you go up, you can recruit different stuff. So when you get to rank five, you can recruit paratroopers, etc. And this is probably how I'll do it. Say you just joined the game, I'm gonna do it in that order. So I'll do paratrooper, recon, tank crew, then fighter pilot last. And then as you can see, you got general down here on the bottom, um, and general, like I said, you know, it's a different thing. And of course, you got the shop. This is where you can get all of your stuff for actual monies. Um, or gold as well but you can also buy it differently now here are your career options uh, these I'll talk about these for a second so here are all of the things I can do right aside from regular infantry because that's what I am now if you buy a soldier from the shop or I should say if you if you went in here to recruit a soldier you said okay I want him to be uh, if you just recruit one like this but uh, at rank one and you promote him up to officer ranks or you promote him really wherever you can change his career at will now if you recruit a guy at rank a or at rank 12 or up here at major or whatever you can't uh, I should say if you they call it Academy train so if you have an Academy trained soldier that you purchased um, then he cannot change. Uh, for example, my tank, I, yeah, my tank crew, who I, or maybe he just doesn't have this stuff unlocked. I don't think he's got it unlocked. Uh, yeah. Uh, but the, I know for a fact my German tank crewman, he is academy trained. So, he can't change his career. He has to stay a tanker. Um, that's one thing to keep in mind. So when you buy something that is academy trained, like you say you buy a reconsman, um, he's going to stay a reconsman. And again, these are all of the different career options, which I'll do a video on independently. Here are your ribbons. Uh, I won't go into too much detail about them. However, there is a lot of detail to talk about here. All of these ribbons represent one specific thing, uh, like you got your specialists, 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 uh, your weapon, vehicle specialists. And then up here you got armor, so if you're a tanker, you will um, advance these ribbons, um, aviation, these. Uh, if you drive vehicles in general, you'll advance these. Uh, combat ribbons, tactical, they all fall under these different categories, and they all do something, they're all for something different. Um, just to look at one here, if I go to chauffeur, so I go in here, each one of these represents something that you get for reaching that level. So for instance here, I get a silver combat badge for Iron Fist, and as you can see here, 15% more damage. What this does is it enhances a specific thing. So handheld weapons, so that's like anti-tank grenades and things like that, will and they will be enhanced when this ribbon gets to level 4 or actually no if you equip this combat badge this for instance means you unlock a vehicle so this might this is the M29 weasel uh, just as an example but that's what ribbons do the higher you are the more stuff you unlock that also goes for guns as well um, here is where you equip stuff so this, and this is just for the soldiers so here are the soldiers that I have in the United States uh, there's their rank there. This shows your next rank, shows your current one, and your advancement progress. We've got the M1. Again, there's four equipment slots here. The fourth one is a veteran equipment slot. Uh, and so these are the weapons. Now, in weapons, there's a couple different things. you got your close combat stuff, so knives, shovels, beating sticks, yada, yada, yada. And here you got uh, guns of any type. So... Uh, Good, uh, good little arsenal here. Now all of these are obtained by, now see they have a ribbon next to them and this means unlocked at, or unlocked with, <coughs> LMG Assault 12th grade for example. You got your grenades, mines, things that go boom here, and then you have your tactical equipment here. Uh, you got your binoculars which um, are helpful for spotting things. Um, and then the wrench. Why would you carry a wrench? Two reasons. One, it repairs vehicles, which is helpful after you get shot by a tank round. 
two, it can be used to club enemies, so that's nice. Um, though that's the one. Th I'll I'll talk about that in the tanker video. Never mind. <laughs> So uh, then you have your combat badge here. I don't have any combat badge equipped on this guy. Uh, your vehicles that you have. Now, infantry can actually probably have the biggest, regular infantry probably have the biggest arsenal of vehicles to choose from. So they got, the, they got all of these terrain vehicles. They have motorcycle and they have all of these uh, larger vehicles. So you got two kinds of half tracks. You got the regular troop carrying half track, the M3A1, the M16, MGMC, which is basically a mobile anti-aircraft platform. And then you have the cargo truck, which can be used as a big troop transport. You also have your ways to modify your soldier, like that, for instance. Now he looks like a lizard. Um, and then over here, this is the... Uh, assault teams that this guy has. Now, my recon dude up here, since he's almost a second lieutenant, because it says unlock with second lieutenant or general, he's almost a second lieutenant, so this is almost about to become irrelevant, or not irrelevant, whoops, relevant to him. Uh, but right now, to my technician fifth grade guy, <laughs> that is not relevant. So over here, this is where your shoulders, not shoulders, soldiers are kept for your nations um, so I have three guys here in the United States I have a recon tanker and a regular infantryman you just to get to recruit a new one you just press that and this comes up you pick what you want um, now it all comes at cost so say for instance you want to recruit a general look at that big hefty price tag down there and of course you can only recruit general at one rank you can't say oh I'm gonna recruit a general of the army no it has to be a brigadier general anything below that you can you have three ranks I should say you have two ranks and one rate to choose from if you're going to be particular about that um, or at least that's the way I think of it because officers have rank enlisted have rate anyways uh, you can do that with everything else except general um, if you recruit them as a private, sorry, if you recruit a private infantryman, then as they advance, they can go to any of these, right? However, if you even recruit, say, a recon as a private, he can't change. So keep that in mind when you're getting stuff. Then you got settings over there. I won't talk about that because that's boring. Um, squad mechanics. Eh, I don't really... You can kind of figure that out as you go. I don't even know the system very well. I only know the basics. So, in the game here, they actually have a pretty... I, I would say that this game probably has one of the best rank systems. Um, they really go kind of all the way with it. They go all the way from uh, private first class all the way up to here, generally army. Um... I, there are other games that I wish had stuff like this, but they don't. And, of course, these are adapted to all of the other countries as well. So if we look at Germany here, they go all... And now, the, the 0 through, through uh, 22 is a universal system. However, they, act, they have the historical ranks here, um, which is pretty cool. schnitzel. I'm going to call it schnitzel. Okay. Anyway, that's beside the point. So, that is basically what the interface and everything here means. So, I will now be going into an infantry game, and I will then show you the, what the infantry does. And I will see you there. Shalom, my dudes, and welcome to the forest, the deep, dark forest, where we were then find ourselves somewhere in Europe, and we were given a rifle and told to fight. Anyways, we are regular American infantry, and we, because our tax dollars can't pay for bicycles, well, no, they can pay for bicycles, that's all we have. <laughs> So what do we have in here? We have a little bit of recon armor. 
and the Suicide Squad because, well, never mind. Don't worry, that's just what he named his squad because you can do that, but most people don't bother. So this is a skirmish map, so it's a relatively small map. Uh, I purposely chose this one because it's a little bit more regular infantry friendly. Um, I'll just get off the bike here. It's the uh, little bit. It's the infantry friendly map. Or, but if I was playing recon or something like that, or even armor like this guy is. Uh, oh dear, there's a rock there, friend. Uh, I wouldn't be playing on this map. It wouldn't, because I can pick. This is skirmish. So, no, it's not skirmish. Is it skirmish? Yeah, it's skirmish. Hey. So we got the we got our M1 and our Mark II Freedom our our Mark II deployable cheeseburgers. Nice. There's a cool little spot over here that they creatively hid in the game, which is kind of cool. It's only on this map, really. Hey, boy, there's something up here. Ah! And that's what an assault rifle does to you. Okay. I am using the bare bones stock everything, so this guy has just like nothing for upgrades. Nothing. He's got the grenade and rifle you are given when you start. So, so I'm trying to bring you the infantry experience. So, we are going to play this piece of shit. Now, as we go through the fog. Now, I, I think this looks pretty dope. Now this is no this is no BMX bike, but it works. We need a we need bike squads. We see we can we can we can get moving. Bikes are one of I I guess you could consider them a vehicle that are found at random around the map. Uh, same with uh, civilian trucks. They are found really anywhere. Oh, someone died here. This map might, this match is probably not going to end up being very eventful, and I don't want it to be because this doesn't need to be a long video because it's infantry. It's not much to talk about here except you just get up there in the front line and brawl. Now, again, kind of depends on what you have weapon-wise, but that's a different story. Hit him. Let's jump down into A and get some points. Oh, holy Jesus. There's a tank right there. No, 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 no. Quick, hide, 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 hide. We'll just lay in the bush behind him. He'll never know. No! Oh, crap. There's a freaking advance going on right there. Okay. Let's get back on our two dollar bicycle and hope that things go a little bit well let's go down here now playing regular infantry is fun when you have variety in your weapons or at least some upgrades unlike me but that's something you have to do when you're new Trust me, I don't think the other roles are as dull as this. <laughs> but that's, and I don't have a vehicle or anything like that to play with, so. We have the gun and we have grenades, that's it. We're going to sneak up on these wearaboos. Oh, and trust me, there's plenty of those in this game, too. They're here. But there's also the democracy givers, too. Whoa.
Camouflage does work in this game. It's just being dumb enough to give yourself away. Oh, that's ally. Okay. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, man. That's what happens when a tank sees you. Simple as that. If I had, like, a BAR or something cool like that. Oh, are you going to drive? I'll hop a ride on this tank. No? Okay. I'm sorry that we are sucking. But I suck anyway. So. Hmm. down into Death Valley we go. Oh, and yet. There's a German here somewhere. No! God frickin'. And this is demonstrating why I like the recon experience. You generally don't die as much. <laughs> but it's partly my fault. There, we just got a little bit of a ribbon upgrade, physical training. All you gotta do is move with that one. <laughs> to upgrade that, you don't have to do anything special. Just do stuff. No, absolutely frickin' not. That's my point. That's my frickin' point. Watch him wreck the crap out of him. Got him. Finally! And there we got a Garand upgrade. F is to whistle. tank sounds like my grandma when she gets up in the morning. Roast, 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 roast. Here, I could just kind of hitch her. Oh, oh, here's another thing that infantry can do. They can get in tanks, right, and they can be like, woohoo, I'm the bow gunner. So you can do cool stuff like that. But this isn't a tank video, so I'm going to get out of the tank. I'm just showing you what you can do. Anyways, on with the crap. I don't know where kind of to go in this right now, just because it's, it's an awkward battlefield, except up here on this little plateau where B is. Should just lob some nades in there, that I should fix them. Nope, that did jack. Didn't get nearly far enough. No! Uh-oh. Uh oh. I hear a schnitzel launcher. Don't tell me B's been lost. I know it's been lost. Come. Come back! Got you. Off the hip. Finally, we're not sucking so bad. We still are sucking, but not as bad. Oh, <laughs> tanker with a German gun. No, my point, come, oh my god, I don't stand for this kind of garbage. Dis my point. Not for Germans to take. 
Ooh, I didn't realize you could get up here. That's pretty dope. Could I parkour over there like a boss? Nope. Get down! Never mind. We got obliterated by a Panzerfaust. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh, goody, we got capture points. Again, we're still sucking. <laughs> but I think it is fairly safe to say that infantry is the most rounded in terms of variety that you can have with it. Because infantry can do a lot of stuff. Because they can equip a Springfield with a minimal scope. Uh, so they can snipe, um, they can upgrade their sniper rifles to a one-shot, they can get machine guns, all that fun stuff. But their role is very broad. Alright, it can be a pro- eh, not a pride, applied broadly. So, infantry is useful, but being stock is not fun. So I recommend, get a new gun or upgrade quick. Now, you can, what's cool, you can, you can put a scope on something like a gear, uh, like a grand, uh, and that's pretty cool, right? This bike is cheap. Um, on so, you can put a scope on something like a grand or whatever. Hop on! No. See, look, it even has a little bell. I wonder if you can run someone over with a bike. I mean, you can't, but... What? I... Get on. before that tank shoots us. Oh god. He knows I'm here. God. Oh god. Death. Ha! <laughs> Got you. <laughs> That was perfect. I'm usually never good at grenades, but that was pretty good. Oh! Supporty? No, that's not support. That's a loops. And he's not here to support. Oh! Jesus. We can take the point! No! Well... Darn it. Let's try one more time. Because it's honestly not worth waiting out the whole battle for this video because it's probably getting frickin' boring. Alright. Try this one more time. Ring, ring, ring a ding, ding, ding. Let's wreck some scrubs. Just kidding, we are the scrubs. Hmm, stretching. Alright, I think we're good. Shut up, Kershling. Frick. Oh, someone to run over? Hey, mate. Oh, crap. We have the speeds. Too fast for you. <laughs> Got him. Hush, little German, don't say a word. America will dispatch you to the gulag. Sorry. Straight a push. To try and take B again. Oh Jesus. No 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 no. Well, they're about to get the last objective anyway. Let's try and stay alive till then. Hey mate. What's good? 
he has a spade. Good self-defense tool. C has been lost. Oh! Stay alive! Oh, that was Donald Trump. Come on, man. Alright, anyway. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this infantry experience video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and of course, comment. And I hope you come back for the second Heroes and Generals experience video, which will probably be, what, Paratrooper, I think? Um, anyway, like uh, again, thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and of course, comment. And we'll see you all later. Three stars.